what I'd like to explain here is this is a cross section of a skin and uh, it's showing the upper layers with these black bits are your living cells which are very very important for your protection okay and then at the bottom we have the matrix and then we have other things in the skin which obviously with this problem isn't relevant but the most important part is that upper layers that we are now going to look at a more detailed version now we have what we call a germinal zone or a basal layer there now it's a single cell layer that actually is resp is the skin okay now within these basal layers we have what we call melanocytes okay these melanocytes are scattered throughout the single cell layer now whether we are white Asian or black the number of melanocytes scattered within the basal layer is exactly the same. Beyond the simple desire for lighter skin, Sujata Jali highlights more reasons why the ethnic minorities would be tempted to indulge in the habit of skin lightening. So let's look at the examples now. <clears throat> why people would like to use skin bleaching products? Obviously there are the social pressures that clients are going to use it for but what I come across mainly is disfigurement the patient has got from various reasons I've got a example here now if you look at the skin that is pretty blotchy and the reason for this blotchiness is due to acne It's a post acne pigmentation again the reason it looks more disfigured in darker skins is because the darker skins produce a lot more pigmentation and whenever there is any injury to the surface of the skin the basal layer or the melanocytes produce a lot more melanin and they rush to that point as a protection then we move on to another type of pigmentation which is very very common in darker skins we still don't know what causes this type of pigmentation although here we have the acne post acne pigmentation which is very easy to remove by other treatments so really what I try to tell the patients with this sort of problem is do not resort to the skin bleaching products we have another problem where darker skins tend to get pigmentation or disfigurement is due to electrolysis or hair removal techniques because again the same thing we come back to is the production of excessive melanin or the color in our skins any damage or any trauma to the skin will cause pigmentation how can you tell when someone bleaches their skin well you can tell because it's the neck is always darker than the face and you can see around these sides and normally they get pigmentation on, on their hands and a lot of them when they do bleach it um, it doesn't work out they've got patches and red, red patches on their face why do you think they do it because they see it as um, as being superior i think you know to, to look lighter um maybe it's going to get you that job or whatever because you're just that tone lighter i don't know well i see my friend use it and i like what you get and then also curiosity, I start using it and then I like it. I'm so happy they're off the market because I was told that Ambi don't on the market anymore. Nadi no they're not on the market anymore. All this stuff not on the market anymore. They're being sold in shops just down the road. Well, I haven't got I haven't got a clue. They call them monkeys. <laughs> they take a record that says, ooh, ah, 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 a monkey that. So that's people that bleach. But for what purpose? I don't know, so good luck. In order not to have a negative effect, you gotta use like glycerin. Females, they have nothing to do. They prefer to spend their all time bleaching and all these things. I'm going to show you an example which is really horrifying. This is a patient who had acne but could not resist using the skin bleaching creams. And as you can see, what's happened is the areas where she had the spots have almost got burnt 
and the damages started to go around the eyes as well. What's happened here is that the collagen and elastin in your skin has actually been destroyed and that's the residue of, of or the remains of your collagen and elastin broken down. Another example very similar where you know it has been used around the eyes. Um, the skin looks almost like hide but we were able to treat her over almost a year and a half to get to that sort of level where we have managed to clear quite a lot of um, damage from the skin bleaching products. It is disastrous. I mean, I've seen people who have been scarred and once it is done, there's no reverse. Once you have damaged your skin, and that's it. It's a scar. You were born a beautiful black woman. You wanted to look more white. You end up becoming even a darker black woman permanently until you die. What I normally suggest is please refrain from using any skin bleaching uh, products, no matter what they promise you, uh, whether you know they are safe or because anything that is going to bleach your skin is going to destroy or interfere with the production of your melanin in the skin, and that is not a good news. The ban of harmful lightning products seems to have little impact on their circulation. They have just become under-the-counter products, available to those who know where to look and know the right questions to ask. So who then is responsible for manufacturing and distributing these products? Um, very common in uh, America, uh, in the Far East. Uh, there are few companies in the UK that manufacture it, uh, because as a whole, the manufacturing industry in the UK is very, very easy. Small. Most people think um, skin bleaching products are actually made by Africans themselves. No. I think most of these products are actually made by very big companies, some of them very reputable, and they know the effects, and most of them are manufactured in um, you, uh, the United States of America and Europe. And they exported actually in tons and loads of shipments going to, to Africa. So you find it's made in the USA, made in Italy, made in, um, I think, uh, Manchester. And even uh, you find the, the similar brands made in India as well. And yes, they find their way into the West, you know, either in a suitcase or somehow, you know, illegally they, they are uh, brought into the UK as well. Bride, Civiclair, Precious, Numa, Many of these harmful lightning products rely on their attractive images and alluring words to mislead the buyer. It's, it's just a big selling point. Whatever they put, they won't advertise the dangers, definitely, because that would kill. They wouldn't do that, otherwise it wouldn't sell. But it's the way that these products, when they're put on the market, and the small print, really, which is, I mean, it's so alluring, you want to be what that uh, saying is going to happen to you. Michael Jackson's alleged thirst for lighter skin is apparent on his album covers. You see what they done to Michael Jackson? Mm. He tried to get. Now he's dying. Look at, look at him. Look at monkey. I don't think it has made any difference uh, whether the products, uh, the ingredients have been banned or not. Because uh, not many people are even aware that the ban exists. So, no, uh, you know, you still can buy illegal or legal products containing hydroquinone on, on the market. The skin bleaching industry as a whole has now gone into multi-million pound market. And uh, as I said before, it's not only the Asian and the black skins that, you know, are using it. It's right across the board. And you wonder why... Um European um, governments, for example, they know the effect that this is having on the black people and it's, not, it's a health hazard. I wouldn't imagine any European government allowing any product, whether it be from Japan, China, Taiwan, coming into these countries. It's a skin, probably um, sun, sun, sun tanning lotion, which has got disastrous effect on their people. I can't see that happening. They would actually be up in flames.